Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at alternate exterior angles. Okay, when do we have alternate exterior angles? We have them when we have two lines and what we call a transversal. And the transversal um, crosses both of those lines. Sometimes these two lines are parallel and sometimes they aren't. We're actually going to look at the scenario where those lines are parallel to each other. Okay, so we've got line let's call this A and line B and we're going to say these two lines are parallel to each other so we are going to mark them with these little arrows that show parallel and often you will see more than one set of arrows that just means those two lines are parallel to each other okay this line coming down the middle we're going to call that line Q line Q is the transversal now in relation to these two lines, I always like to think of this as a hamburger where your meat is between the two lines and then you have the top and the bottom or what I think of as the buns. Okay, the buns are where the alternate exterior angles are going to lie. Okay, alternate means on opposite sides. So on one side of the transversal and the opposite side of the transversal. Then we've also got exterior angles. Exterior meaning not between the two buns on the outside, so on the top and on the bottom. So alternate exterior, let me jot that down, exterior is outside in the bun area. So I'm going to mark these in different colors. So we've got an alternate exterior angle here and its partner is the one opposite here. So I'm going to call this angle one and angle two. Those two are alternate exterior angles. Now I'm going to mark another pair because we do have another set and we've got one here and I'll mark that three and one here and that's four. And those two angles are alternate exterior angles. Now there's something also about those angles. When you have parallel lines and you have a transversal, these alternate exterior angles are also congruent to each other. Okay, and these two angles are linear pairs. So I'm going to throw out some numbers. Let's say that angle 3 is 50 degrees. We know that angle 4 also has to be 50 degrees because alternate exterior angles are congruent. Now we can also figure out 1 and 2. If this one is 50, 1 and 3 are linear pairs, meaning they're supplementary. So I take 50 and I subtract it from 180 and I get 130 degrees. So that means angle 1 over here is 130 degrees. So that means angle 2 down here must also be 130 degrees and that makes sense because it's a linear pair with this one. So let's look at a quick summary of alternate exterior angles. Okay, We've got two lines that are, if they're parallel, we have a transversal. If they're parallel, we know that these alternate exterior angles have to be congruent to each other. And what does it mean to be um, alternate exterior? Alternate or exterior means outside of the bun or outside, not between the two lines, but on the outside. And then on opposite sides of the transversal. And alternate exterior angles are congruent if the two lines are parallel. So there we go. That is a quick summary of alternate exterior angles.